bitch. Yo. What kind of paranormal entities? How y'all doing? How y'all living? How y'all be? You are Cliff, a college student who is... That music's annoying. Who is a brand new freelance cameraman for the show, Paranormal Entities. The number two rated ghost investigation show on the hunting and outdoors cable network. It's so loud, bro. You have been hired to inspect the St. Augustine Asylum for the Mentally Ill. You will go to this facility. Follow the producer's instructions through a radio earpiece. Keep your camera on and try to make contact with spirits inside. If nothing happens, you will get $500 for your time. If you manage to get an amazing footage of real paranormal activity on your camera. Okay. Oh, I'll get that if I... Okay. Okay. Start the show. What the hell's going on? Oh. All right, Clint. Uh, Cliff, 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 Cliff. Welcome to the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. My producer Tom said good things about you. In your backpack, a flashlight, a voice recorder, an EMF, and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let you know when to take those out. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, of course you are. And when you're ready, enter in through those front doors. Okay then, Skipper. Um, how do I stop recording? Because my battery. I see it shows I have a battery. Jesus, Jesus is with us, bro. Nothing's gonna happen. We're chilling. We're chilling. I don't know what that is, but we're chilling. Hey, this. Hold on. Nothing. This is the sensitivity is crazy. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Sensitivity is real crazy. <laughs> nice, the door was unlocked. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So here's the story behind the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. It was founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, the place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and hope they disappeared. Okay. My boy can't run either. My boy, what do you want me to do? Everything's locked. Can I crouch? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know there was more. I mean, they're all locked, so what does it matter? Sensitivity is unreal, bro. How are they not going to give you an option? What a... Okay. 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 Let's get one of these, huh? One of these games? Oh. Oh. you come you never leave huh so why the hell you bring me here well now everything went over let just make sure I hate when, look, when you stop moving he does like a little sidestep boom right there see that boom boom see that this is where the hundred hallways patients would convene and we heard that the patients pre-19 actually oh, received brother. decent care. Then the war hit, the depression hit, and then the budgets all fell apart. The room you stand in once healed 20 patients in need of attention, and by the end, 150 patients would pass through this room, naked, starving, attacking each other at random, flaying themselves with metal wires from their beds. Be careful where you step. 
Oh yeah. I'm, I just gotta stop moving because see, nothing's gonna pop up unless he shuts the hell up. All right, this is a good place to start. I want you to take out your voice recorder, and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Okay, spirits of Saint Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Okay, play that back. Penis. No? no Did you hear that? Here. Uh, nothing. Alright, let's try that again. So you take three steps? Relax. Here. Tell Relax. Us where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. All right, check that. Uh, this microphone. Give him a second to talk, bro. All right, let's try one more spot. Here we go. All right. Oh, you're fucked up. up or piss off. Oh, you see? That's fucked oh, up. Not it. The hell's in front of me? That's not it. And this is it. Okay, the four areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract, the e social area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who were deemed a danger to society would convene. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. So walk into the center and we will begin. The fuck I am? <laughs> You're just inviting him, bro. You're just inviting him at this point. Am I not here? That's it? That sucks? Y'all gonna tell me what they do? What the hell? My mouse went away from my other sc from this screen. I went to my other screen, that was weird. Oh brother. This is the entrance to the patient cells two twenty. I did it again. This is where they kept the lunatics, the murderers, the sociopaths. You just said that. Too. Hmm. 
Let's just start the ceremony. Oh, brother. This guy don't know what he's doing. Oh. Spirits inside this asylum. Whoa, 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 whoa. We know that you're here. We release you from your restraints. Can you Come believe? forward and live again. This oh. person is no longer shielded from the realm of the dead. You may be seen, interact, and manipulate him in any way. Oh, that oh. Fit. What did he say? <laughs> Got me messed up. I hear her, dude. Don't just stand there. Go, go check it out. This guy's a prick. Is it when I press E? No. I didn't see nothing, bro. Oh, that's the one. Man. Oh, okay. You don't want me to go in? I'm going in. I don't care. It's a strong one. I recorded it. I can get out now, right? <laughs> Daddy home. Damn. That's how freaking uh, FedEx be shipping your packages, bro. <laughs> At this point, I'm not scared. Look, I'm a freaking crackhead. So, I can't wait for my next fix. Have an aid. Game officially became non creep. <laughs> All right, get out of this hallway and then take a take your second right. Second right. It would, be, it would help if you could run. Doors locked. Damn it! Damn it! Oh, okay. There's a there's a staircase. Take the staircase up the second. And you should be next to a fire escape. You should be able to get out that way. So, so go up the staircase. Where the hell is the staircase? Why does it do that? It's over there, bro. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. He's not going to talk? Crap. Oh, okay, we need it. Let's go get something to pry this door open. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. Wait. This was never here. Hold on, hold on. That staircase wasn't there before. That is, yeah, that's exactly what I just said. Even have a basement. What, the, what, what is going on? All right, all right, just. I just don't think what? you got any other choice. I think you gotta make your way downstairs. You just had. You just told me to go find something to pry that door open. <laughs> what 
now all of a sudden I got a choice. You wanna run that back? He said, no, 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 no. Stairway to freaking hell, man. Come on, man. Usually when it does stuff like this, there's like a... Preparing you for a jump scare, dog. But I guess it didn't happen. I have to step in that. See if I do. Nothing. Oh, so romantic. You lit candles for me and you're leading to a way. So cute. I would say we got some good footage, no? get down with me just tell me bro I don't think I have a choice either way you know <laughs> oh bitch <laughs> got me angle <laughs> but You know why? Because the door fucking opened, but it's like stalled on the jump scare, so I thought, oh, there's nothing. No jump scare, and then boom. <laughs> that was a good one. I give it to you. Maybe eat my words, but I said this shit ain't scary no more. <laughs> oh, brother. It's just annoying, because look, now you gotta go back. What do I do? Oh, no eyes, don't see. What? Prompted that I could touch it or something. Maybe it was just the door. Girl, you on your period? What the fuck is going on here? You know what I was just about to tell you? I thought I found a cheat. Because I it was pitch black. I couldn't see anything. But I, when I looked at uh, my other monitor where it's recording, I was able to see. Huh. Anytime it's that dark, I'm just going to look over there. So now, I'm on the other side. Okay. Alright. Alright, confession time. Uh, it's about the eyes. I 
kind of hid this from you. Oh, God. There's an urban legend, and, and I, I repeat, it's an urban legend about the peeper Clive Johnson. You see, the, there was a patient who suffered from dementia and swore that Clive was more than just a mere man, and uh, he would kind of haunt this patient all throughout the day, you know, rampant hallucinations, and progressively got worse, but at night, he never saw the peeper. Then he discovered that if he closed his eyes, he could escape Clive. But whenever he opened them, Clive would be there, waiting for him and getting closer and closer. Eventually, the patient used a fork, and he blinded himself. And while he was soaked in his blood from his sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free. He was safe. And a week later, two more patients charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was confined to solitary. I mean, it's crazy. They, they took their eyesight, too. This pattern didn't stop. I thought it was BS, but based on what we've seen tonight, I don't pretty much believe anything. So, try to get the hell out of there, and if it gets too intense, try to shut your eyes. How the hell do you shut your eyes? What the hell am I supposed to do in this room? I'm guessing nothing. Okay. Damn flashlight broke. I no. can't use that anymore. Really? It's a good thing I got a cheat code. <laughs> huh? said come here I heard that bro just take the flashlight away you know it's not working yeah for some reason everything will look like you can't see anything like from all the from down the hall right you can't see the door in front of me I could clearly see it on my other monitor I wonder why it's like that it has like no shadow that's weird it has shadow right there. It's just not. It's, I don't know. It's like really bright. That's weird. Look, I can't see nothing, but I can see. There's nothing in front of me. There's that. You see me. What do you mean? There's nobody. I don't know what, there's some shit going on behind me. How do I run? What run? We are cooked. We are cooked. There's nobody behind me, bro. And now there's gonna be somebody gonna... I mean, I ain't cutting it out, dog. This is it, man. Make your decision now. What's it gonna be? Holy crap. I can't believe it. That was the most disturbing terrifying and greatest paranormal footage that has ever been taken in the history of television. Oh my god, Tom. We're going to win an Emmy. We might be on talk shows, paranormal entities, movies, spin-offs, freaking coffee mugs and kid shows. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Him? Him? <laughs> I'm not going in there. Are you going to go in there? I'm not going in there. Hell no, 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 no. I mean, we don't even know where he is in that hospital. The camera's black. He's not responding. I don't see anything. Do you? No, no, no. We're getting out of here. And, uh, anyways, and 
another crazy thing about this. He needs to collect his money, too. I don't think he's going to be coming here anytime soon. So so we, we basically got all this footage for free, dude. Let's just start the band up. Let's get the hell on out of here. We've been in here for, I don't know, a couple hours. Just a little bit too long. I'm a little sore. I need to stretch out. And my very wealthy friend, you, are starting to stink. All right, I'm going to do it. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did That's freaking right. That? Yeah. Did, did you hear that? Shh. Listen, listen. Get his ass. Get his ass. That, that was outside the truck. That was outside the truck, right? Huh? Listen. Shh. If you're wondering, I can't... I, I can't see anything in my other screen. It's actually completely black as well. Well, at least it's on my eyes. <laughs> thank you for playing. Please leave a review. It's a lot to read, bro. But thank you, man. Hey, good game. Good game. Good game. Till then, I love you all. I'm out. Peace.